All right, Bourbon Quest. Welcome back to another edition here on Bourbon Quest. So what do we got tonight? Well, yeah, weather's starting to get a little cooler. Thought we'd venture into a little ride. Picked this up probably a month or more ago. This is a uh, Jack Daniels single barrel rye. It is 94 proof, but not just any Jack Daniels single barrel rye. This one is specially selected by Lexi Phillips, Assistant Distiller, 2021. <laughs> Let you take a look there. It's a 375 milliliter bottle, uh, single barrel Jack Daniels rye, uh, specially selected by Lexi Phillips, Assistant Distiller. So we'll see if she does a better job than what I think Chris Fletcher did. You can go back and watch that uh, probably like a month ago. I got them right around the same time. Um, uh, it was a, another 375 milliliter bottle, uh, Jack Daniels barrel proof, specially selected by Chris Fletcher, which I expected great things from that because I love Jack Daniels single barrel proof rye. I mean, barrel proof, single barrel, barrel proof bourbon, whiskey, whatever. You know what I'm saying, the gold label. It was a 375 milliliters, and since Chris picked it out, I thought it would be, you know, better than even your phenomenal regular that you can find. Eh, not as much anymore on the shelf, but you can still find it. Uh, it has become a little bit more scarce over the last year, it seems to be, but uh, I wasn't impressed by Chris Fletcher's pick. Uh, uh, yeah, it wasn't better than the other ones I had. Uh, I don't know if he was going for somewhat of a different flavor profile. It was good. It wasn't bad. It just didn't live up to, I guess, the expectations I had built up in my mind. So we'll see how Lexi does. Maybe she outdoes Chris. All right. So this is going to be a fresh uh, corking. Let's see here. So dun dun dun. dun. Bottled on February 18th, 2022. Hell yeah. Got your little nice little necklace on the bottom. So, alright. Pause for court pop. Hell yeah. So, I'm going to pour this into the glass. And then, of course, as always, here on Bourbon Quest, any new bottle gets a two ounce pour into the infinity. that out of the way. Now, let's see what, how Lexi did. I mean, I think this is, I mean, you get a little bit of that rye spice, but I believe, I mean, there's no mash bill to my knowledge on this, I mean, I guess you could Google it and figure it out, but I'm, based upon the nose, thinking this is a barely legal rye. I mean, you do get that, starting to get a little bit more of that black pepper and spice. A touch of mint. I'm not getting really any pine. Yeah, it comes off on the nose as, eh, less than interesting. Um, Comes off on the nose as a barely legal rye. All right, let's see what the palate says. Cheers, Bourbon Quest. It's good. I do get that rye spice, a little bit of mint, uh, but then some sweetness. Proof is okay at 94. I mean, I don't think it's very complex. I don't think it's anything special. Um, I mean, it's an easy drinking rye, uh, barely legal rye, um, which I tend to like. I don't like the 95 ryes or above. Those are like freaking eating a pine tree from my experience. But 
Yeah, for a daily sip and ride, I think it's good. I don't think it's great. Um, it's not complex. It's it is what it is. Cheers, bourbon class. I mean, I really enjoy it. I like it. Um, I just think that it's it's simple. It's not complex. And the, and if you watch the channel for any length of time, you know I'm not a a huge rye guy. So I tend to like the more barely legal rye. This one, I don't get any pine. I get just enough mint for for my palate to enjoy it. Um, I mean, honestly, I think, especially this one, I, I, I don't think either one did anything phenomenal, either Chris or Lexi. Um, I, I can't distinguish anything better or unique about the one that Chris did with the uh, barrel proof um, or with this one that Lexi did with the single barrel uh, rye. It's, uh, I think just you can go get a 750 milliliter of the single barrel rye if that's what you're into. I, and I think it's good. I just, you know, that's part of, I guess, marketing or whatever, you know, especially selected by these, you know, renowned people and Honestly, I think, you know, Jim Bob Cooter could pick just as a good one or maybe even better. I don't, I don't find anything special about it. I mean, again, it's good. It's not bad. It's just not anything that uh, you need to go out and buy. If anything, I would say pass on the specially selected by Lexi and just pick up a regular um, especially if you like it just a regular Jack Dick 750 milliliter bottle uh, of the rye I mean it is what it is you know that's part of those you know you set an expectation of it specially selected by either the master distiller or the assistant distiller and yeah, it's just a regular single barrel rock. What else are you gonna say? Yeah, oh, what the hell? Got off a little early tonight. Might as well have one more pour of this because it's like I said, it's not bad. It's good. It's just not special or great or unique or anything that you might expect. Yeah. That was kind of a boring video, I think. <laughs> Cheers, Bourbon Clubs. Alright, well, you've got my opinion on this. Um, it's a eh. Don't lose sleep if you didn't get it. Because it's a game missing nothing. Um, and anyways, so I guess if you haven't done so, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. That helps the channel out. Uh, as we try to ramp up those subscriptions, um, then do yourself a favor, ring that bell for notifications, that way you don't miss a damn thing here on Bourbon Quest, because we a lot of crazy shit, and hopefully more crazy shit to come. Ha <laughs> ha! And then, uh, yeah, so ring, subscribe, ring that bell, smash that like button, that helps the YouTube algorithms to get it out to more people, to hopefully help educate them that they don't need to worry about getting this one. And then leave a comment, um, especially if you've had this particular specially selected by Lexi or love the Jack Daniels single barrel rye. Um, let me know. Let me know what you think on it. Uh, do you agree with me? Disagree with me? You ain't gonna hurt my feelings. Um, and yeah, always interested in your comments. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna wrap this thing up. But before I do, remember two things. One, stay hydrated, my friends. 
And lastly, my wish for you is that all your Bourbon Quest dreams come true. Haha, <laughs> that's a wrap, yo. Yeah. Hopefully something better next time. <laughs> what are you going to do? You got to pop them. Don't watch them. That's a wrap. Bye. Ha <laughs> ha.